Hi everyone, it's Lillian here uh, from Stamper's Niche. I'm coming to you from Spruce Grove, Alberta, Canada, and um, I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Normally, I'm not doing a Facebook Live at this time, but I was just about to try making this kit that's new to me. It's been, uh, Stamping Up has had it for a while, and I'm just really excited to try it, and I thought, why not make it with you and then you can see what it's like too. So whether you happen to catch this live, because I, I didn't let you know I was going to do it, or if you, oops, I've got it upside down, um, or if you watch the replay, maybe this will um, help you solve any curiosity you might have about what's in this kit and um, what you might do with it. So let's go down to my desk and see what what's inside the box here. First off, the box is so sturdy. It is absolutely great that way. Stamping Up makes the best boxes for their kits and for the different things that they supply, whether it's paper, pumpkin, or whatever. Just uh, clicking on the computer to make sure it's working now too. And still got to find it. There we go. Yes, I am there. So let's open this up. So here's the box. It looks like this and we'll open it up and inside we have this. So we've got some tear and tape. So this kit has absolutely everything you need. And why am I making this kit? Um, for a couple of reasons. This one particularly is a, going to be a gift. So I am making this kit because it comes with uh, supplies to make 12 cards, everything you need, and I am going to be making it as a gift from um, my daughter-in-law. But I'm also going to make another one in a little bit. I've got a couple of them just to keep track of birthdays for myself, and then I'm going to make a third one because um, they're just so neat. Better open it up properly. Um, so that I can keep track of business types of things, some receipts, some anniversaries that, that my downline has, my team has, things I want to remember, that kind of thing. So we've got it out of the packaging and just keep this plastic off. On the back is a little pamphlet that has the instructions. We'll look at that too. And then there's this piece of cardboard and this piece of cardboard, if you're taking your kit with you um, traveling or it may be just even working in a different room um, or if you're working with some friends, this is a neat work, uh, um, surface to work on so that you don't wreck maybe your dining room table or something like that. So when I travel, I this is what I work on is the, the cardboard that comes in the kit. So we'll just put that to the side and let's see. So we've got the instructions and we're going to come back to them in a minute. And then we've got some, a little plastic bag here. And we'll take things out of there. I'll keep this bag so I can put everything back in it again if I have extras. So we've got that. So we have glue dots. So that's adhesive. So we've got tear and tape adhesive and glue dots. We'll put the adhesives together. We've got these great sequin embellishments and they've got adhesive on the back so you just pick them off and stick them onto your project. We've got that and we have some dimensionals so 3D um, oh, can't even talk today. 3D foam um, with adhesive on both sides. Bonnie you've got this and haven't opened it. Oh great I am so excited to be opening it with you then. All right so First off, I'm going to put the cards to the side and let's just take a glance at the book. To me, this is the star. This is the organizer. I'm going to just put this up a smidge higher just so you can see it. There we go. So it has this great sturdy cover, front and back, has the coils so it's easy to open it up flat like that. And then when you open it up, I've got two together here. No, I don't. That's just how sturdy it is. You've got um, great pockets. And the pockets actually are fastened into the coil here, but they're not stuck together. So you can kind of expand the pockets if you want. So I was thinking 
maybe in the front pocket, I could put some postage stamps or I could put some return address labels, that kind of thing. You've got a place that you can uh, personalize things here if you would like, so, uh, if you're making it for somebody else. Then you've got a pocket exactly the same in the back. So sometimes you have cards that don't fit a month. For example, if I wanted to have a little bit of a supply of sympathy cards or something like that, I don't know what month I'm going to need it. But if I have some here, then I know where to find them when I need them. So that's, that's another thing that you might use your pockets for. Now, there are also pages and each page has a pocket as well. And just like the cover, they, they are kind of expandable. And then it has numbers from 1 to 31. So you can personalize it, make a, um, oh, what do you call it? A perpetual calendar kind of thing. And we will put the month labels here. So there's one for every month of the year. And you can be so organized just like that. So we're going to come back and look at that in a minute. Just before we go on, you can personalize the cover too. Because it's so nice and thick and sturdy, you can bring in your blends and color the flowers or color and highlight just a few flowers or the leaves. You could actually make um, a label or something to go on the front. If you know who you're making it for, if you're making it for yourself, you could personalize that. You can add ribbons to the coils here. You can dress it up however you want, but it's also just very pretty the way it is. So now let's look at what else is in this stack of goodies. First off, we have got envelopes. So there are two kinds of envelopes. Remember, we're going to be able to make 12 cards, six of two designs. So these would go with the two different designs. Um, and they're all going to be birthday cards, but then you can always add your own. So they, these are the great envelopes. They're nice and sturdy. They're decorated, so they look a little bit special. So I am going to just put them like that, so they're handy. There we go. Then we have card fronts. We again have two kinds. We have this one here and it's got this design front and back. So you could actually use either or if you wanted. So, and you just fold it, it's already scored and it's ready to go. And of course that would go with this envelope right here to be all coordinated like that. Then we have the, um, embellishments. I'm going to look at the next. This is the other set of cards. It comes with polka dots and it would go with this envelope here and you again can embellish it and decorate it exactly the way they say or you can go rogue and just do it however you want. So we're going to put all these pieces over with the envelopes. When I am doing a kit I tend to get everything all spread out but we have just a little bit of um, a smaller work area here so we'll uh, try to keep it all contained. Then we have these right here and what these are let me just pick up one of them you just punch out the shapes so these are triangles here that you would punch out and they're ready to go and I've got two on the way here and these are flowers that you would punch out and add. And again, if you wanted to add color to these, you could, but we're going to make them just as is. So there are those, and then there are the um, months of the year, and they come in four languages. They come in Dutch, English, French, and German. So what I really am excited about is the fact that my daughter-in-law lives in uh, the Netherlands. So uh, for, I can make a Dutch one for her. But let's see. Let me see if I can find January. There's January. I'm going to punch out January. So, so we have it while we've got this out. It's actually a sticker. So we'll put that to the side and just keep that on my hand for right now. Then we've got some more stickers again in the four languages. Happiest birthday, happiest birthday, happiest birthday right there. And there as again, so we've got that. We'll keep that handy. Then we've got these that 
we'll find out what those are for. Um, and then we've got some more. It's your day. It's your day. It's your day. Again, in the four languages. And this is uh, white printing on the black, which I just love. So let's get January set up here. So we'll start with the first page that looks like this. And you can take your month label and it's up to you where you do it. I'm going to center it I think and try to get it straight. I'm just going to do the one month and then as I I can write the different birthdays down and tuck the cards in here and be super organized. So let's make some of the cards. We'll make one of each. So our first card is going to be um, this one here, I believe. I should look at the instructions, right? So we're opening the instructions up and we have step by step. Now there are a couple of little things to be aware of. When you see black dots like that, that is telling you to use the mini glue dots, these right here. When you see like a hexagon as a symbol, that is the hint to use your dimensionals, your 3D um, adhesive. Um, so if you look, you can see what to get. The other thing to be aware of is there is a ruler along here. So it's right along here. It starts at zero in the middle and it goes in inches this way and in centimeters this way. So if you need to measure, they always have a ruler included and don't forget to look at the back as well. So let's start right here with number one. So what we need is we need one of those that I said that we need. needed to read the instructions to find out what it's for. So we're going to get that. We need the card front. Um, we need some of the flowers. So we need this, this, And this. There we go. And we need one of the black labels there. And so all the instructions for the first card are right here. Remember, you're go going to end up making six. So let's see. We will... How can I put this so you can see it? I can put that there. And we're going to fold this. And if you are on your own and you don't have any stamping supplies, you're likely going to use your fingers to crease it. If you have stamping supplies, we like to use a bone folder to make it nice and crisp. Now we are going to make these cards just as is, but if you wanted, of course, you could multiply your cards by cutting this apart. But we're going to do it just as is. So this is supposed to go down right about here. And you can see here this, that's the tear and tape symbol right there. So we're going to put some tear and tape along that. Just have to find the beginning. There it is. And the joy about tear and tape is you don't need scissors. So we're just going to put it down and tear it off. That's why it's called tear and tape. And again, you can just use your fingernails to peel it off. Or you, if you have a take your pick tool, you can use that. But if you're a beginner stamper and don't have any of those tools, you've got everything you need right here. And we're going to put this across uh, right about there. Make sure it's relatively simple before we smash it down. So I just rested it before I put it down. And there we go like that. So that's step number one. Step number two is we are to put dimensionals on the back of this one. So we'll do that and they've shown one, two, three, four. I know they've given extras, but we'll just follow exactly right now. And then once you've made one, you can always ad lib a little bit, right? So we've got dimensionals on that one and we have these pieces here. Oh, can't even pick them up. There we go. And we're going to put the mini glue dots on there. So let's peel these off. This feels weird because usually I use something to do this with and I'm just using my fingers. 
and we're going to put one right there. So these, in, if you're not familiar with the mini glue dots um, and the dimensionals, they all have a protective backing. So once we get everything on, we'll be removing that backing or maybe we'll do it beforehand if it sticks to your fingers. And then we're going to put three on here. You will have extras, so don't worry about shortchanging yourself. But you know, this is adequate. Um, it'll everything else because it all overlaps. It holds the different pieces on. So what I am going to do is I'm going to just practice here a little bit. So if I put this down like that. And I bring this in, so I'm not sticking things down. I'm just figuring out how it goes. That goes there. This one goes down here. And again, I am just following the picture. And this one goes, oh, about here. And you can rearrange that however you want. So I think I will just peel the backings off of these. And again, I am going to just rest them, not really push them down hard until I'm, I've got everything assembled. There we go. We'll put this down here. And this here. About like that. And this one. over here. So I've just rested it and I'm going to take the backings off on the dimensionals and take a look see before I and again I'm just going to rest it. This one can come out a little bit more. This one can come up a little bit more. And this one can come up a little bit more. Just like that. That looks pretty good to me. So now I'm going to smush it down. Because once I do that, it's stuck. And now what we're going to do is get one of the It's Your Day from here. So just peel it off. It's a sticker. It's already got the adhesive on it. And we're going to just um, oh, figure out where we would like it. I think right about there like that and then we are going to add the embellishments now I don't know if you can see but you can see the embellishments here and they're also running down the side here they're a little bit hard to notice but once you know what to look for they're there and they're one two three four five six is how many they used you can use how many you want so the embellishments are these little adhesive backed sequins. So we'll just um, put a couple here like that. Let me just see if I can see. And we'll put a couple over here. We'll maybe put one here. I'm going to bring one down here to bring some attention to, to that. So that's, they're used six. I tend to like to use five, but that's just me. So that is how quick and easy the first card comes together. And let's grab the envelope. Just give a little fold there. And there we are. We have card number one done, ready to pop into our organizer. Now let's look at card number two. Card number two, so this was how to organize. I'm going to fold this back. And so what we need for card number two is this, and we need this triangle here, and this triangle here. They are beautiful cards, aren't they, Bonnie? I just think they outdid themselves with this kit, and I, I'm actually really enjoying giving it as a gift. Um, I'm also really looking forward to having people make it as a class or you know if you have friends coming over or family coming over and you want something to do as you visit the preps all done you can just sit down and make some cards together and it just 
look, it happens so easily. So on the big triangle, you only need to put adhesive here and here. On the little one, they suggest putting it on all three edges. So we'll just get started and get this adhesive down. And like the other card, I'm before I take the backing off of the tear and tape, I'm going to make sure I know what I'm doing. So the card is like this. I'm looking at the picture. This is going to go up in this corner. So now we'll end up with two triangles. And then this is going to go down in this corner. So we have all this geometric stuff going on. So this card would be suitable for guys or girls, I think, of teenagers, pretty much anybody. So that being, now that we've figured it out, this one has to go down first. So let's peel, peel that backing off. There we go. And let's There we go, just like that. And now we'll peel the backing off of this one. I love the clean lines and I also love the colors. Yes, Judy, I absolutely love this kit. In fact, I have now got two of them and I am ordering more, if you can believe it. So we're making it just as is today, but of course you can always do something extra with it too. So there we've got that. Now it says to bring in happy birthday and we are going to stick that down. Boy, this is just comes together so easily and it's a sticker. So we are going to put this right. I'm going to get everything lined up here. You could always angle it, but we've got lots of angles happening. So we'll try to keep this fairly straight like that. And then it is suggesting again, the sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six is how many they've given you. You can again use more or less, but that's their suggestion. So we're going to just, I'm looking at what they have done here. And I'm just doing roughly the same thing. So there's three there, put a couple up here to catch the light on the black. And I think I might leave it at that. Oh, they put one over here. Why don't I? I'll do it exactly the same. There we go. And just like that, we have this card made and we'll bring in the envelope that goes with this card. Give it a fold. And there we have it this card here. So when we bring our our book in, I just love this book. Oh, it just makes my heart happy. If we have a birthday, we can put this together in here and just slide it in. Now, if you're worried about your sequence coming off, you can flip it over, right? And do it that way. And then that'll hold your sequence in. And we've got two cards all set to go for January and we're all isn't it great I just love it so if you want to order this kit you are welcome to go to my website or even go to um, I will post the online exclusive uh, link as well because it, you can find it under the online exclusives because the kits are only found online they are not in the uh, catalog because they change all the time. There are all different kinds of kits there. You've seen me use a Do the Magnetic Board kit and a few of the other kits, and then now this kit here. So take a look at the kits. They are fabulous. They're quick and easy to do, and everything is there. So if you're a beginner stamper, it's a perfect way to start. If you're a seasoned stamper, it's still a perfect way to start because it's just fun to do. If you like to do uh, crafts with your friends, a perfect way to start. If you like to do crafts with kids, there are some that are just fabulous to work with kids as well. So 
just a, a super, super kit. This book is eight inches by 10 inches. If you don't include the coil, you get everything to make six of these and six of these. And I, you can just have so much fun. Of course, you could color these, but this is just perfect, I think. A way to stay organized, be on the ball, and impress everybody. So thank you so much for joining me, and um, I hope this gives you some ideas of what you could do. A white daisy in the dress. Oh, Judy, I love how your brain's working. You're, you're, go you're on the roll now. All right, thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Take care and have fun. Bye-bye.